Hi, um, I'm Rebecca Kovaleski Brooks and I um, just come to Australia to visit my children and spend time with them. I had to seek legal advice after waiting five years since um, Jacob Johan Ronaldo Kovaleski's removal um, from the New Zealand courts uh, from being bullied and picked on um, prior because I found out I had to look after him and, and terror. Um, and abuse um, because of um, my ex-husband's um, associates and also my own family members. Um, so there was an intervention and I um, had to wait in New Zealand for five years as advised by my lawyer. And then when I went to the judge, I asked for shared parenting. I did it. Um, parenting courses so I could be with my son Jacob Johan Ronaldo Kowalewski in his life um, and it wasn't my fault why he got uplifted um, it was because of a lot of bullying from Joseph Kowalewski's friends um, because he um, fought with me a lot um, there were domestic violence issues because I was a Mormon and I didn't want um, drugs or alcohol in my house and um, then there were police calls out and I just had a child and because of that, that was the reason why of the upliftment and the prison um, let the hospital know and the children were tried, to, they tried to uplift the children um, at, um, at the hospital and when they did, um, they didn't really help um, child youth and family that I had dealt with, um, they tried to deem me sick and also make up lies um, and I wasn't happy but that's what happened because I had no family support and no money uh, because we had been um, when Joseph left me um, after marriage for another woman from his prison mates um, he decided to leave the church and um, things got hard for me because I had no family support in New Zealand um, my own mother and her, her friends and other family members tried to kill me because they like to be popular um, and that was the hard truth of it, um, hard truth of everything. Um, she didn't want me to have my children, she asked me to abort them. Um, but it has come down to popularity um, and some people just have to accept that that's how they think. Um, but for me, I um, try to be a responsible parent so I kept fighting for my child. I went to um, do parenting courses, which taught me to um, have harmony with everyone, including the father, uh, but I don't have any relationship with him. Um, um, boyfriend, girlfriend, or marriage-wise ever again, um, because I know he doesn't care, but he'll leave me to and support me with, with the role of a mother and father. Um, I go to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. They have been helping me with, um, supporting me with some things. Not necessarily the church members themselves, because some of them you can't trust and some you can. Um, you can trust the church leaders to try to do the best to, to help you, to um, counsel you, to um, have support. Um, and also I... Um, I have been attacked um, separately with my child and with, with us apart. Um, power companies from place to place try to make us sick, put the power up in our home and poison our car and water. And also my son, he's very skinny now. Uh, he's the one I concerned about, Jacob Ronaldo Kowalewski. Um, there were a bunch of people definitely picking on us because I got texts from my ex-husband's friends to say that was the case. Um, I went to court, tried to have shared parenting with my children. My parents have refused contact. Uh, it's been five years. The parenting order says I'm supposed to see them two times um, a year and have phone contact. And I got phone contact, but I never got to see them, even though I paid num numerous times for um, contact. So what I did was I just flew over here five years later and um, after jo Judge Ryan finally said that I could um, be near the children, go to Australia and live and be near them. So I worked really hard to have money and I'm here in, in Sydney. 
Um, I'm disappointed because I've only seen the children for two and a half hours. It's been a week and I was expected to see them more. It's sought legal advice. I was supposed to return back to New Zealand on Wednesday and then come back to Australia when I have more money and support um, to live here, to make a life for myself, to be near my children and their lives, which is exactly what I intend to do. Um, um, so I'm a security guard at the moment, red badge for New Zealand. I've been security in security since before 2000, um, patrol work and every kind of security job there was. I've also been a naturopath. Um, my Facebook is um, Naturopath LTS Service, which is lots of love doing service. It's just, um, I didn't spell it out, but that was basically it. Um, this man at the back of me, Joseph Smith, I have some kind of connection with him through, through family history from England um, and my genealogy. So um, I belong to Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and I believe that to be the truth um, for um, that is, that's what I know and that's how I give in my life, I believe in Jesus Christ. Um, I try to do the right thing. I've done all I can to be with the children. I put a proposal through to the self reliance coordinator because I know the entitlements in to ask for is they can help with education and accommodation. Well, I asked for about three hundred fifty thousand or a bit more to help with education and food and um time so I can be trained into a job. Um, that was my last resort after asking Iwi in New Zealand and also loans and uh, banks but being turned down because someone from the church went around um, um, discrediting me amongst everyone and also a bunch of people stalking us from place to place who weren't keeping their covenants, um, getting, trying to get us into jobs that um, Heavenly Father wouldn't have liked. Um, that's my ex-husband, he's still a criminal who just got out of Spring Hill Prison uh, last week. Um, Jacob and Joshua are healthy, um, but Jacob and Joshua are healthy, like, personalities. 